Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I present you a video about the ME and LME custom firmware for the version 6.61. At first, as you can see, my PSP 1000 is running the version 6.61. Then we can start the update launcher for 6.61. This is the ME custom firmware updater, and I'm showing you the LME on one of my unhackable PSPs. For example, the PSP Go or PSP 3000. In this case, I'm showing you the ME custom firmware, which is a custom firmware for the old hackable PSPs. So those old PSPs which you could simply hack with a special battery. And the LME custom firmware is for the newer PSPs like the Go or 3000 or E1000, which only have a temporary temporary version or the permanent patch which does not exist for 661 but for 6.20 and as you can see at the top I'm now running custom farmer 6.61 ME 2.3 and even if I reboot or in this case reset my device the custom farmer stays which is pretty nice this is a full custom farmer. The full custom farmer is only available for old PSPs. If you have a new PSP, you have to use the temporary version or you install 620 and use the permanent patch. As you can see, if I remove the battery, put it back in, the PSP will still boot into custom farmer, which is very nice. Everything updated, everything working. Next, I've got the PSP Go, which is obviously a new PSP. Once again, version 6.6.1 and the LME installer and the LME launcher. For the LME custom firmware you have, at first you have to install the version 6.6.1 and if you have the 6.6.1 version installed you can install the 6.6.1 LME version. The LME custom firmware exists for firmware 6.20, 6.39, 6.60 and 6.61. If possible I would recommend the 6.20 since 6.20 has a permanent patch. If your PSP cannot run 6.20 I would suggest 6.61 since it's the newest. And as you can see custom firmware is now installed. And now we will launch the custom firmware via the LME custom firmware launcher, which is this one, LME launcher for 661. It will show your device at the very top, then exit and reboot into custom firmware. This only works if you previously installed the version, like I just did in this video. As you can see, 6.61 LME 2.3. If I now reboot the device, the custom firmware is disabled and I have to reuse the launcher. But there's a nice application which can make it very nice and very fast to use the launcher, which is called Lightspeed. Lightspeed is made by myself and it's very easy to use. You start it and as long as your farmer is compatible you get the screen. You can install the SenseMe mod, the Comic mod or restore the original files. In my case I'm installing the Comic mod because I think it fits better to use the Comic icon instead of the SenseMe icon. So pretty much your choices were to replace this icon or to replace this icon. If I now click on this key, it will launch the custom farmer. 
If I shut down my PSP Go, the custom firmware will be disabled. And if I start my PSP Go, I will boot into the very normal 6.61 version. If I press select, nothing happens. And as you can see, 661, no custom firmware. If I now click on this key, on this launch icon, it will launch the LME custom firmware and will return to this very menu. This is a nice and clean way to launch the custom firmware for those PSPs or for those farmers who have not a permanent patch or even a full custom firmware like the old PSP 1000 and the old PSP 2000. As you can see, now custom firmware is loaded from this very icon. You just click the icon and you're done. If your PSP does not have the comic icon, you can also use the Sense Me icon. Sense Me should be available on, on any PSP, regardless if it's European, North American, Japanese, Asian, or whatever. Some PSPs don't have the comic icon, so that's why I made the Sense Me as a second option. This was my video about the 6.61 ME and 6.61 LME custom firmware. Download links are in the description and if you have questions just ask me in the comments. I'm the Dad and see you soon.